I'm Hope and welcome to the BBC News Report from St Joseph's Catholic College. In this news bulletin we will be talking about our patron St Saints and fundraising for Cathod we did during it. So we'll be interviewing students and teachers about the activities they ran and the people behind that day. Over to our reporter Holly who is talking to Katie about her activity. Go. <laughs> Well, actually, Cafford Market's been running at St. Joseph's for, for quite a few years, long before I started here. But over the last few years, the girls have really done it with a huge amount of enthusiasm, and it's got just bigger and bigger, bigger and better. Um, why do you think it's a good idea? We're raising money for Cafford. Uh, Cafford does real life saving work across the world. Um, and the girls all get to have a fantastic day, and it's part of our St. Joseph's Day celebration, so it's just all good. Um, how much does market make each year? Well, we're hoping, last year we, we raised a, about £2,000 and we're hoping to raise about the same amount or even more this year with any luck. Mr Burrows, now we'd like to Alana who is interviewing Miss Canning about her students who are running the activities. Okay, so as part of the GCSE coursework for citizenship, the Year 10 are doing their community campaign. So all of the activities that are um, being run today are um, associated with one of the four themes for their coursework, which is um, gender, race, ethnicity, culture, um, age and um, disability. So for example, we've got um, Bradford Balls that have come in to do, teach wheelchair basketball to relate to disability. We've got a sign language interpreter who's come in to teach sign language for disability. We've got... Um, We've got some of the girls that are teaching henna as part of the um, race, ethnicity and culture. We've got gardening where we're mixing age groups to try and help with their age. Um, and gender, we've got things like computer games and stuff which are stereotypically thought to be boys only. Has most of the work they've done been independent? Yes, all of it pretty much. Um, they have been in charge of doing the whole activity, so they contacted me and asked me if they could actually do the day. Um, and then I said yes, and I've done sort of the, the um, logistics of the, of the um, organising, but they've done their own activities and I've not been involved. Is the cathode market a good idea? Is the cathode market a good idea? Yeah, yeah I think it's a great idea to get um, the students involved. They all seem to like it. It's a great way of bringing the community together. Raising money for um, the school's main charity, I think it's a fantastic idea. And the whole day being run by students, for students, I don't think you can promote any community better than that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Alana. Now we go to Holly, who's interviewing Mr. Woods on his favourite year for the cafe market. Um, so do you think the cafe market is a good idea? Yeah, I think it's a very good idea because it encourages a lot of people within the school community to raise yeah. funds for a good organisation. And uh, they always try and arrange, uh, arrange a, a variety of activities throughout the school uh, for a lot of people to go from year 7 right up to year 13. But no, it's an excellent idea, I think it raises a lot of money. Um, like, out of the past years that you've been here, which do you think has been the best year of Captain Market? Best year? Every year, students bring something different. Uh, for a lot of years, you, you, you tend to have. Uh, for the last few years, you tend to have the standard stalls there, but there's been a lot of variety, especially with the younger students uh, doing stalls now for the cafe market. But, you know, fun, that's what we're looking for. A lot of fun activities for everyone to take part in. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for your insight, Mr. Lord. Now, next we have Holly interviewing Robin on their group's attempt at gender equality with computer games. Go. Um, what's the activity that you're doing? The activity we're doing at the moment is video games and computer games. Yeah. Oh, um, why did you want to do this? Because we're wanting to promote gender equality between males and females. And since everyone assumes that uh, computer games is a male kind of dominated game, we wanted to prove that it's not and you can have female friends as well. Um, how successful is it going? It seems alright at the moment, but at the moment it seems to be that most of the boys are in the one room playing Gears of War or something, and girls in them playing Mario Kart, so it doesn't seem to be working quite as well as we hope, but it is it is still making people aware of it. Yeah. Um, do you think the cap and market is a good idea, and why? Yeah, because it helps people uh, to support a good cause, and to make sure that everything's... 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Thanks, Robin, and thanks again, Holly. Now we've got to a girl who's talking about origami. Um, what's the activity that you're doing? It's origami. Why did you want to do this? Because it promotes the how things can spread across overseas, hmm. and it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Um, how successful is it going? It's quite successful. They get a bit stuck on bits, but it's pretty easy. Do you think the cafe market is a good idea and why? I do because it helps raise money for other things and, well, yeah, it brings us all together as a group. Alright, thank you. Um, what is the activity that you're doing? Great dancing. Why do you want to do it? Because it's a good sport for people and I'm a dancer so I find it easier. How successful has it gone? It's gone quite successful. <laughs> do you think that the cafe market is a good idea? Thank you, Rebecca. Now we've got our final interview with two girls talking about sign language. Um, what's the activity that you're doing? Sign language. Why did you want to do this? Um, we think that it would it be a good idea to raise awareness for people to learn sign language because not many people um, know it and we want more people to know it in, in, the, in the school. How successful is it going? Yeah, I think it's going good. Um, people are just coming in, and there's teachers as well that are um, coming in and learning the, this, yeah, and getting involved. Do you think the cafe market is a good idea, and why? Uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea because it's raising money for a charity, um, and it's going to a good cause. And I think everyone really likes to go around the stalls and buy things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holly and Katie. Next, we have an interview from three girls talking about the activity they are taking part in and what they think about our school's cafe market. Thank you, Holly, and thanks to Sophie and Isabella. We hope your activity will teach more people sign language. This is goodbye from me. Now we go back to Hope. Thank you for watching from all our reporters, Holly, Alana, and Matilda, and me, Hope. Um, what is the activity that you're doing? Wheelchair basketball. <laughs> Why did you want to join me? Because it sounded fun and it's something new because I've been in a wheelchair before. <laughs> um, how successful have you gone so far? Like, what have you lost? Good. Really good, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, do you think the cafe market is a good idea? Why? Yeah, because we're raising money yeah. by doing fun activities that we really like. Yeah. Right, thank you. Is that thank you, Linda, Emily, and Grace. Now we'll go back to Holly, who's interviewing two girls about jewellery. Go. Um, what's the activity that you're doing? Um, accessory making. Um, why did you want to do this? Uh, we had to do it for our GCSE, but we wanted to do it to promote um, community cohesion. How successful is it going so far? Very successful. Um, Roha, do you think the cafe market is a good idea and why? Yeah, because it makes students into the world of enterprising. Thank you. Thanks, Katie and Roha. Next we see Holly interviewing Erin about DJing and gender equality. Um, what's the activity that you're doing? Our activity is DJing. Why did you want to do this? To promote, to prove that women can do it as well as men can. It's equal opportunities, not yeah. just a stereotypical one. Um, how successful is it going so far? I think so, it's really good because they all look like they're really enjoying it and they're all getting involved and everyone is from different years as well. So also age groups, not just... Yeah. Um, do you think the cafe market's a good idea and why? Yeah, I do because it's promoting equality between like all types of people of all ages and all and it's like like getting rid of the whole discrimination thing i think it's really good thank you <laughs> Sorry. thanks again holly now you have an interview to our school's head of fundraising about the cafe market and it's important it's important and how much it makes every year 